What up everybody? First and foremost, I would like to wish every single person watching this video a happy Halloween. I hope you guys have a great time, and if you're fucking older, then I hope you get laid, and if you're a little fucking kid, I hope you get a lot of candy, okay? Real talk, I have to include this. If you're going to, like, a haunted house today for Halloween, don't take the people that are dressed up as monsters and shit too seriously. And if they fuck with you, tell them to fuck off, dude. When I was a little kid, I used to go through those little mazes, you know, all the haunted mazes, and some of those motherfuckers there take their job a little bit too serious, okay? I get it that you're trying to scare me. I get it that they've employed you to scare me. I got that, okay? But if you're following me around for like fucking 40 minutes, wh what the fuck is the point, dude? I see you're there. You're not gonna scare me. You're just fucking providing stress. That's it. Please, get the fuck away from me. Like, straight up, am I the only person that's experienced this? Am I, like, just a magnet for these people? Like, you go into the haunted house, okay? And the little fucking monster pops up and he scares you, blah, blah, blah. And you all laugh and you keep walking. But this motherfucker doesn't stop. He follows you around for the rest of the duration of this little haunted house little thing. It's like, bro, there's a lot of other fucking people in here. There's a lot of other shit to look at. You're ruining this whole experience by distressing me and following me around. Like, bro, holy shit. And for the the smug kid that's about to comment something like, oh my god, the point of it is to distress you. I'm not talking about he's behind me and he's like, oh shit, there's someone behind me. He's literally in my face for like 30 minutes. The whole, ex the whole fucking haunted house. He's literally in my face. Like, bro, my god. If anything, you're making it less scary. Like, it's almost at the point where it's like they want your number or something. Like, what the, f what do you want from me, bro? Bro, there's people behind me. You're not scaring them at all. What are you doing? Like, get this. This one time, I was in a haunted mansion. The dude popped up. He scared me, right? And he just stuck around for, like, ten minutes, right? And midway through, I'm just like, <laughs> like what are you doing, dude? And he's like, <sighs> like, he's still growling at me. And I'm like, what the fuck? How much do they pay this guy, dude? He's, like, still in character. And it's been, like, 20 minutes. It's, it's more like three minutes, to be honest. But still, dude, it felt like 20 minutes. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not going to be celebrating Halloween this year, or at least completely. I might go hang out with my friends or do something later this night, but I'm not going to be doing some full day shit where it's like, oh yeah, wake up at 7 o'clock, go to a Halloween festival, after that, go get some lunch at this place, and then we go back and party the rest of the night, and then we fucking go suck each other off, yeah. And I mean, don't get me wrong, dude, I hope it doesn't come across like I'm this party pooper piece of shit that like sleeps all the time, because I'm not, and some days I do like to do shit like that, where you wake up early, you do a ton of shit, you go to lunch, you do a ton of shit, you go to bed, you do a ton of shit, you sit on a dodo, you're in bed, you're done, you crashed. But there's also some days where I just want to chill out, dude, okay? Chill out, watch some Netflix. Anybody down to Netflix and chill? Like, I'm the type of guy that likes to mix it up a little bit, okay? Some days I want a pizza, other days I want a big fat booty, like I'm just saying. I still remember the first time where I actually got hit with that, like, every single part of your day is scheduled lifestyle. It was in high school. High school baseball, dude. Fuck that shit. So if you guys didn't know, I played a little bit of baseball when I was growing up, okay? Like, in middle school and elementary school. And I don't want to, like, brag or anything, and I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, Oh my god, he's so fucking full of himself. Fuck that guy. But dude, I was pretty good at baseball, okay? I made the all-star team every single year, and I liked playing baseball. Now understand that this was just a little league shit, okay? There would only be one practice every, like, two weeks, and I wouldn't show up. And on top of that, a lot of people didn't even care about it. And look, I'm sorry if this next part offends a ton of people that love baseball, but I'm gonna be real, dude. When the high school level came and every kid showed up with, like, $2,000 equipment, there's fucking practice every single day for four hours. A fucking 50-year-old quote-unquote coach yelling at people just because they're not throwing a baseball correctly i was fucking done dude fuck that i was just sitting there like guys 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 you do understand that we're a bunch of 16 year old kids in tights throwing a baseball around a little ball we're literally throwing a ball around and you guys are going to be upset about this i'm done no real talk though i stayed for about like two practices when i just realized this is the most ridiculous thing ever i'm going home fuck this i'm gonna play with my dick and i think that's the perfect note to end this video on anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video today i hope you guys are having a great halloween and you can leave a like if you feel like supporting me and just feeling like being a great guy i would really appreciate it and i think hey i'm just thinking but i think jesus would as well hey no pressure though no, I'm completely joking, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you guys so much for watching, and peace, peace. Happy Halloween, you fucks.